Hey guys, so we're gonna be talking about some more new releases. They're really coming out fast and furious these days, but we have the new Shantikai Real Bronze Bronzers. I have both colors, Serena and Goa. And I also picked up one of the new Lip Fails. I have it in the color Frangipane. So we are gonna be trying all of this out on my face, and I will definitely be doing some comparison swatches at the end of this video with these two bronzers to many of the bronzers that I have in my collection. And if you're interested in any of that, we're gonna get into it right now. So let's start with the two new bronzers, Serena and Goa. First, let me just mention that they come basically in the same box, but the Goa box is in something that's a little bit cooler and deeper of a red. And the boxes basically mimic what's going on with the compacts. So the Serena compact, the lighter bronzer, comes in a more orangey red, and then the Goa, the deeper bronzer comes in kind of a cooler, more uh, like neutral kind of red. But there is a definite visual difference between these two compacts, which is really cool. The attention to detail is never missed by Chantecaille. So inside we have a nice big mirror there, and then we have Chantecaille running up and down either side of the bronzer. And then the bronzer has this beautiful like sun embossing on it. It's just gorgeous. So let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches. I have Serena on the left and Goa on the right. Uh, Goa is definitely a little bit darker than Serena. And from what I can tell, I don't think Goa is necessarily cooler in tone. I think Goa is just a couple shades deeper than Serena. The formula of these bronzers is so beautiful. It's like that Bake Gelée formula, which is so, so stunning on the skin. There's a beautiful sheerness, but it builds up easily. And there's this kind of like creamy finish to it. It's just stunning. So why don't we go ahead and apply Serena to the right side of my face. So I have foundation and powder down on my cheeks. I don't have any other bronzers or blushes or highlights or anything going on. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Sculpt One brush and I'm gonna go into the Serena bronzer. And for products with this formula, I definitely recommend using a brush that has a little bit more pickup power. So natural hair brushes are great. Uh, goat hair brushes are really great because these products can be just a little bit more difficult to pick up. So there is the Serena bronzer. Absolutely love the tone of it. It's neutral, just a teensy bit leaning warm. And I just think it kind of warms up your face really, really nicely. This is definitely, I would say, if you have a similar skin tone to mine, this is the one that I would get. I think you can make this one work, but it is a little bit deep. So let's go ahead into Goa. And again, I'm just going to swipe across here and it picks up quite a bit of product, so I'm gonna knock some off and brush it onto my cheeks, my temples. So here is the Goa on my left cheek, and you can see it definitely is a little bit deeper. I think it does maybe have a little bit more red in its undertone, but it's still to me, at least on my skin tone and how I'm seeing it in the mirror, it still seems a little bit on the warm side for me. And then here is Serena. So like I mentioned, I think if you have my skin tone, I think the Goa can work. Um, it is definitely a little bit darker than the Serena. I think the Serena is probably a little bit more natural, probably a little bit easier to use. Like there's really no danger of like putting too much on. I mean, you can always put too much on, but you know what I'm saying? It won't get too deep too quickly where I feel like the Goa can get pretty deep, pretty quickly, but I think it looks okay. And if you're someone that, you know, as the summer progresses, your skin gets a little bit darker. And again, you kind of start out with a skin tone like mine. I feel like this would probably work. But I think if you have like a light medium, maybe almost a medium skin tone, this would be a really nice, like very natural kind of bronzer. All right, so those are the bronzers applied. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush and highlight, and I will be back to put on the lip veil. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this lip veil. I decided to get the most peachy color that I saw. The other colors that were available 
uh, were pink, pinkier or uh, like a rose color. And I don't know if it was the packaging that swayed me or just the fact that I was getting so many bronzers that I felt like I needed the more orangey color. I don't know. But it comes in the lip fill packaging, but the color now is red, which is so, so beautiful. It has the elephant on there. And there is a booklet on the inside of the lipstick box that talks about the not-for-profit agency that lip fill sales will help and every sale of lip veil will support elephant families courageous efforts to protect the elephants and ensure that these magnificent creatures can continue to roam safely across asia for generations to come so there is oh look at this elephant family i don't know if you guys can see this picture but look at the elephants so the case on this lipstick is magnetized and the barrel on the inside is even metallic red. It's just so pretty. So here's a close look at the frangipani color. And here is a swatch of it on the back of my hand. If you guys have not tried this lip veil formula, I urge you to give it a shot. I don't know if it's available for you to try at a store near you, but the formula of these lip veils is really something special. They go on extremely smoothly, but they don't have that like slick silicone kind of feel, which I'm not really a fan of. They're really moisturizing, really comfortable, but they don't feel too greasy or goopy or anything like that. They're a really, really special formula. Anyway, let me go ahead and put some on. So these lip veils are exactly that. They're like a veil of color. They're not extremely overly pigmented. They're kind of between like a sheer and a satin kind of lipstick. I think they have a little bit more pigment than like a sheer kind of balm type of lipstick. They're so beautiful to wear. They're so comfortable on the lips. I can't emphasize that enough. Like it just doesn't feel like I have any lipstick on. It feels like I just threw on some lip balm. This is such a great formula. I absolutely love them. So before we get into the comparison swatches, what I want to address and I think everyone's question is, is this Serena bronzer the same as last year's Positano bronzer and highlighting duo? Because this was called the La Serena bronzer and they are. They are the same, the formula is the same, the color is the same, at least to my naked eye, they are the same. So my first swatch comparison is gonna be of these two, this year's Serena and last year's Serena. And in all of my swatch pictures, I will have the new bronzer on the left-hand side and I'll write down below which one I'm comparing, the Serena or the Goa. So let's have a look at these comparisons. Well, that's it for the comparison swatches, and I absolutely love these bronzers. I think they're beautiful. I feel really lucky that I feel like I can get away with wearing both the Serena or the Goa. I think both look 
pretty okay on my complexion. You let me know down below in the comment section if you have a preference of one over the other on me. And these lip fails, uh, I just love them. And I'm so glad that I got this color. I wasn't sure. I was thinking maybe I'll get a pink. I don't usually get pinks. I usually air on the side of like more RNG red colors, but I'm so glad that I got this color. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.